I'm Corey Duke. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from Two Works For You. Tolstons are just a few hours away from saying final goodbyes to Sergeant Craig Johnson. His funeral today at Victory Church at 1 o'clock. No media are allowed inside the church for that service, though it is open to the public. Stick with us today as we bring you full coverage from outside church walls. And flags across the state waving at half staff today. This comes after Governor Kevin Stitt signed an executive order yesterday. The move meant to honor the life and service of Sergeant Craig Johnson. Meanwhile, Tulsa City and health leaders say there is no mandatory mask order yet, but it could soon come. In a news conference, Dr. Bruce Dard said he'll be tracking data closely for the next few days and recommend mandatory masking if cases continue to trend upward. Mayor Bynum saying he's waiting until he's told there's no other option. So I would ask all Tulsans, don't wait for Dr. Dart to say that we have no other option and ask local governments to put in an order and then put that tremendous responsibility on local law enforcement, step up and do it yourselves. Mayor Bynum stressed mask wearing protects the healthcare system and the Tulsa economy. Now let's get a check of today's forecast for meteorologist Brandon Woolley. Hi, Corey. Hi, everyone. Morning scattered storms for a southeasterly wind sustained kind of breezy between about 10 and 15, and some of the storms may turn severe. Should be dry this afternoon, reaching 92 degrees. Then tonight and overnight, the chance for more scattered showers and storms. Some of those might be turning severe by early tomorrow morning. Our forecast low at 75. Tomorrow afternoon at 95 degrees, triple digit heat on Saturday, backing off a little bit on Sunday, upper 90s on Monday, and then low 100s for Tuesday and Wednesday. Corey, back over to you. That's a look at some of the stories making headlines today. Stay with Two Works For You for updates all throughout the day.